Hi everyone, this is Teacher Will and welcome back to Statistics and Probability section. For today's video lesson, we will learn to determine the minimum sample size for estimating population B. Okay, let's start. So, yung pag-determine natin ng sample size, so yung appropriate na sample size is very essential, pati particularly sa pag-contact natin ng mga research study. As a researcher, syempre, hindi naman pwede yung basta-basta ka nalang mag-declare ng bilang ng respondents o sample na mag-under sa inyong study or investigation. And, syempre, an appropriate sample size and sample techniques must be implemented para naman makakuha uh, tayo ng best estimate ng ating mga parameter. So, ibig sabihin lang po nun, um, that this sample size determination is one of the requirements so that the findings of your study can be generalized to every member of your population. Yeah. So, there are some factors affecting our sample size determination. Yun yung um, level of confidence population standard deviation, and margin of error. And among of these factors, only two are under the researcher's control. Yun po ay yung ating level of confidence at margin of error. Of course, kasi dito sa population standard deviation, it is already um, based on previous data. Nito. Okay? So, sa margin, the level of confidence kasi natin, ikaw yung mismo magsiset kung Anong level ba ng probability na sa tingin mo eh, o na gusto mo na yung parameter mo ay magpo-fall doon sa ating confidence interval. So, yung most common na ginagamit na confidence interval natin ay yung 90%, 95%, at yung 99%. So, tatandaan nyo lang na the more confident that you want to be, the bigger yung sample size na kailangan. And another factor is the margin of error. Since wala nga sample na perfect po yung magbibigay sa atin ng estimate ng ating parameter, kailangan natin mag-decide kung how much ba na error yung gusto na kaya natin tanggapin na gusto natin i-allow that will affect our um, data. So, the less error that you are willing to accept, of course, the bigger the sample na kailangan po natin. So, meron tayong formula, syempre, that we will use to I determine the sample size. So, the minimum sample size for the estimation of the population needs. So, this is our formula. Ayan po siya. So, n is equal to the square of z alpha over 2 times population standard deviation over the margin of error. Ayan. So, again, yung n po natin dito is our appropriate sample size na hinahanap. And, and ito is the population standard deviation and ito po is yung ating um, confidence coefficient or tinatawag din kasi siyang critical part. Again, itong ina to is our margin of error. Yeah. So, let's have some um, example at gamitin po natin itong formula na to. Example number one, compute for the appropriate sample size if the margin of error is 6 with a sample standard deviation of 25 and 90% level of confidence. Ayan. So, identify po muna natin yung mga given natin. So, we have here uh, margin of error. Ayan, may given na kaagad na margin of error. Hindi na natin kailangang compute in. And, meron din tayong sample standard deviation na 25 and a 90% level of confidence. Ayan. So, ito yung ating confidence level. CL na nga lang ilagay natin. Ayan. So, applying our formula, Square of Z alpha over 2 times population standard division over margin of error. Ayan. So, substitute lang po natin. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin niyo kailangan po natin yung value ng Z. At gagamitin ulit pa rin natin yung table na pinasan natin kanina. So, ang confidence level po natin is 90%. So, ano po ang ating Z alpha over 2? That is 1.645. Ayan. Substitute lang po natin yung mga values. 1.645 times 25 over 6 squared. Ayan. So, diretsyo na po natin siya sa calculator. We have, ang sagot po is 46.98. So, syempre, wala naman pong 0.98 na 
sample. Kailangan po natin siyang i-round off sa full number. So, 47. Ayan po. So, ibig sabihin po na, ayan, therefore, to be 90% confident that the estimate differs from the true mean by 6, we need a sample of at least 47. At least 47 po. Kaya sabi nga natin, minimum sample size. So, pinakamababa na yung 47 as our sample size. Ayan, so proceed po tayo. Compute for the appropriate sample size if the margin of error is 6 with a sample standard deviation of 25 and a 99% level of confidence. So same lang siya dun sa previous natin na example, pero tatry po natin yung nakaasa naman yung ating um, level of confidence. So, so sabi nga natin kanina, the more confident we want to be, the bigger the sample needs to be. Ayan, so tingnan natin kung gano'ng kalaki yung difference kapag from 90% to 99% level of confidence. Okay? Identify ulit natin yung mga given natin. Meron tayong margin of error na 6, sample standard division na 25, at ang confidence level natin is 99%. Ayan. Again, to find ang ating um, appropriate sample size, kailangan po natin yung Z alpha over 2. And ang Z alpha over 2 ng 99% po natin ay 2.58. So kung mapapansin nyo ang kailangan natin population standard deviation, according to central limit theorem na natin, na pwede po natin i-replace itong 25 hours as our population standard deviation. Okay? And so 2.58 times 25 over 6 squared. Okay? The answer is 115.5. 56 or syempre that means 160. So ibig sabihin po to be 99% confident na yung estimate natin differs from the true mean by 6, we need a sample size of at least 160. Ayan. So di ba mas lumaki po siya. So, so, habang gusto natin na mas maging confident tayo, mas lakihan po natin yung, mas damihan po natin yung sample natin. Okay? Ayan. So try naman natin magkaroon ng situational problem. So here, a young student is conducting a research on the awareness of senior high school learners on the names of the Philippine presidents. So given a margin of error of 4 with a standard division of 9, having a 99% confidence level, what should be the minimum sample size that the student researchers need to estimate the population mean? And so kailangan identify na natin yung mga given natin. So Ang margin of error daw po ay 4. At ang samples, ang ating standard deviation is 9. At ang confidence level po natin is 99%. So, ang kailangan po natin hanapin is ang ating Z alpha over 2. So, pag 99% confident ka daw, that is 2.58. So, substitute na po natin siya sa ating Z alpha over 2 and standard deviation of A squared. So, 2.58 times 9 over 4 then squared. So, ilan po yung minimum. So, that is 33.70. No? 33.70 or 34. So, ibig sabihin lang po na, na to be 99% um, confident itong mga researcher natin that yung estimate differs from the two men by four, the minimum sample size na kailangan po is at least 34. Okay? Another example. Yeah. For our last example, sample number four, an environmentalist is making a survey on the number of households that applies the principles of waste management in a certain community. Given the standard division of 2.6, how large a sample must be selected if we want to be 95% confident of finding whether the true mean differs the sample mean by 1.5 hour. Ayan. So, identify po natin yung mga given natin. So, ang standard division daw po is 2.6. Yes. Ang confidence level natin is 95%. At sabi dito, oh, true mean differs from the sample. Kasi sinabi natin differs, ito po yung ating margin of error. Difference between our sample mean and our true mean. Okay? So, 1.5 hour daw. 
So again, ano po yung ZL for over 2, kapag 95%. That is 1.90. So substitute lang po natin. We have ZL for over 2 times standard division over E squared. 1.96 times 2.6 over 1.5 squared. Okay, so the answer is 11.54. Ayan, so kailangan lang naman niya kumuha na kahit 12 lang daw. 12 na bahay na yan. 12 na households. Okay na yan. Ayan, so to be 95% confident that the estimate differs from the true mean by 1.5, we need a sample size of at least 12. So, mahalaga sa ating pag-estimate ng ating population mean yung bilang ng sample natin. So, kung gusto ninyo, again, kung gusto ninyo na uh, mas maliit yung margin of error natin, dapat mas malaki, syempre, yung ating kailangan na sample. Ngayon din, kapag gusto natin na mas confident tayo na nandoon po sa range na yun, o sa interval natin, yung ating true mean, kailangan mas, ma mas malaki talaga yung ating, ang ating sample size. Okay? And then, actually, meron din tayong um, formula para ano, determine yung sample size ng um, kapag ang population parameter natin is population proportion. Pero katulad nga na sinabi ko, hindi na natin ipofocus dun yung mga lesson natin sa population, hindi na lang po tayo. Though, sa hypothesis, Hypothesis testing, matatakal po natin siya. Pero ipapakita ko na rin po sa inyo. Ayan. So, the minimum sample size for the estimation of population proportion. Ayan. So, ito po yung formula niya. Ayan siya. Ayan. So, that will be all for this lesson. Thank you again for listening and make sure to hit the notification bell to get updated with our next lessons. Bye!